Here's a classic example of a word problem that uses rational expressions. Take a moment now to push pause and read this for yourself. Now that you're done reading the problem, let me explain how simple these types of word problems are. What happens is you have this painter, he's working on this room, he's painting it, four hours go by, he's finished. But what you want to kind of do is break it down to how much of the room did he get done in one hour? And that's actually really easy to set up because it makes sense that in one hour, he'd only complete a fourth. So basically, one over what you had would be done in one hour. So what happens is you're going to add that to how long it takes the other painter or assistant to paint the room. So you'd say, well, how much does he get done in an hour? Well, he gets one-fifth done in an hour because it takes five hours for him to complete. From there, you want this to equal a grand total. Now, this grand total is going to be based off of how long it would take them to work together in a rational expression. And so every problem that is like this is set up in this way. All you got to do now is solve for x. Lots of ways of going about this. Multiplication property of equality. You can get common denominators. I'll show you um, the common denominator method. This obviously has a 4, this has a 5, this has an x. So if you put a 5 and an x and multiply it by that 4 and a 5 and an x and multiply it by that 1, you're one step closer to a common denominator. Over here on this side, this is missing a 4 and this is missing a 5. So if I multiply 4 and multiply by 5, I'm that step closer. And then this is obviously missing a 4 and it's missing an x. So you take all the pieces it doesn't have and throw it in. Now, multiply only the numerators. Well, actually, the denominator is 2 in this problem. 5x all over 20x plus... 4x all over 20x equals 20 all over 20x. Now, don't reduce any of the fractions. Um, the whole point of doing this was basically for you to say, because of the property of equality, since all denominators are the same, that means all numerators will make this representation. Therefore, you don't even really need the denominators. All you really need is the numerators. 5x plus 4x equals 20 is the same thing as 9x equals 20, which is the same thing as 20 over 9. And to answer this question, all you got to do is turn it into a mixed number, and you'd say, how many times is 9 going to 20? 2 with 2 remainder over 20. Simplify that down just a little more. 1 tenth. So it would take them together two and one-tenth of an hour. Now, if this was an SAT question, they'd probably go one step further because they'd want to know how one-tenth of an hour is represented. So what you'd have to do is you'd have to take a little bit of scratch work and say, what's one-tenth times 60 since there are 60 minutes in an hour? Then you'd put 60 over 10, which would reduce down to 6. So technically, two hours and six minutes. And that's how you'd answer this question.